Welcome all to James Woods High's annual college fair, where each year our seniors gather to decide where they will go in the fall to get HPV. Wow, Meg, so many choices. Yeah, it is a state college with an incredibly offensive Native American mascot. I'm Drunky, the Dakota University mascot. Look how drunk I am. This is important for sports. Oh, look, you can go to Oral Roberts. Oh, and there's Anal Roberts. Oh, boy, that is a tough, tough place to get into, Lois. That is tough. But once you're in there, you'll be surprised how much you like it. Ah, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Griffin, so glad you could make it. You know, Meg has attracted interest from several colleges. Meg going to college. You know, I always thought she was going to be one of those ladies who wears a jean jacket and hangs out at the bar in a chain restaurant. Hey, you know you can get a slice of pineapple in your burger here. Hey, Jimmy, another water. Call Miller Lite water. Jimmy knows me. He knows that. Come on, hockey team! This one's on me. Merry Christmas, Meg. You really think Meg is college material, Principal Shepard? Yeah, she's a solid B student, and that's quite an accomplishment, considering none of her teachers are willing to sleep with her. Sophomore year, she was molested by the janitor. Does that help? <laughs> Mr. Griffin, I believe they're called custodians. Anyway, I was able to get Meg an interview this weekend at Green Mountain College in Vermont. Green Mountain College? Oh, my God, that's my first choice. Can one of you guys take me up there? Meg, please excuse your mother and I for a moment. We need to work out our schedules. I'd be happy to take you, Meg. We now return to Extreme Makeover, Bethany Frankel edition. Move that bus! Put that bus back! Hey, can you guys turn that down? I'm trying to read. Oh, shut up, Brian. We were here first. Yeah, Brian, go read in your own room. I don't have my own room. Yes, you do. You have that wicker basket in the laundry room with the frayed bath mat in it. God, I can't get any peace and quiet in this house. Well, now you know how I felt at Mardi Gras. Hey, keep it down. Trying to get some sleep up here. Show us your boobs. My boobs? I, I don't think I... Oh, my jewelry. I wonder what I'll get for showing this. The rules of this city are very unclear. Ah, this is actually very pleasant. Hey, who the hell knocked over the garbage can? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 I, I don't want any trouble. Well, you in the wrong place if you ain't looking for trouble, boy. Nothing but trouble out here. Big old hoot owl come down, scoop you up, take you out. All right, well, can you at least clean this stuff up when you're done? It's, otherwise, it's going to start to smell. Oh, you don't like smell, huh? Well, sniff on this. Ah! <laughs> yeah, you got that stick all up on you now. Oh, my God, what is that smell? Oh, it's like a burning tire dump right in my nose. <laughs> Brian, why are you doing this? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, 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 you bastard! Oh, I can't see. I'm blind. <laughs> ah, what is that smell? Oh, my God. Brian got sprayed by a skunk. No, not against the wall. You're going to scare off the cockroaches. Oh, that's not good. They were 70% of the structure of this house. Peter, please tell me this is covered by our insurance. Sorry, Lois. It doesn't cover acts of dog. Hey, guys, I think the tomato juice is really working, don't you? No. You smell like my six-foot-tall German girlfriend. Christopher, are you ready to go to the Gutenschwarzen? Hell, da! She can swim across the pool in two strokes. Giggity, giggity. Giggity, goo. Stick around. <laughs>